Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. I'm sorry that I haven't been posting many tutorials recently. This is because I've actually been running out of ideas. But in this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this industrial furnace system. Now, I'm not going to take 100% credit for this idea, uh, but originally I came up with this idea, but then I searched it up and I discovered that people made it already. Um, I came across a video by JL2579. He actually does some amazing redstone contraptions that I'm kind of jealous about, but I saw that he did one like this, but it was quite big and it was quite complex, and I thought that I could make um, a simpler design that is friendly for um, anybody that plays Minecraft. So, so this is my design here and it is a lot simpler than what JL2579 did. A good thing about it as well is that you can easily extend it, so you can extend it for an unlimited amount of blocks, but I don't advise that. I would suggest making it maybe like 32 long or something like that and it would cook a stack of ore almost instantly. But yeah, this is my design, and before I show you how to build it, I'm just going to show it off. So, in the left chest, we place in our ore. In the right one, we place in our coal. And as you can see, the minecarts have stopped here. They are just stopping there to fill up on the materials. Once there are no materials in these two hoppers here, it will set back off and then they'll place it into, they'll evenly place it into the furnaces here and they'll start smelting it. So what the minecarts are doing now are going over all the hoppers here and they're evenly sucking them out into all the furnaces below and they're actually smelting them right now. If we open up the chest, as you can see, it is actually cooking them quite fast. We've already got 32, which is pretty crazy. Oh, it's going to go up to 48 now and then soon after the next batch will come almost instantly after it's filled up it will bring out the next batch and there we go we have our 64 gold ingots and that was very quick a lot quicker than using say one furnace so I'm going to show you how to build this now so what you are going to need is six redstone dust three redstone torches two redstone comparators, 37 hoppers, five blocks of redstone, three chests, eight furnaces, 14 normal rails, 29 powered rails, two minecarts with a chest, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is build the minecart filling station. So this is where the items will go into the minecart and then get distributed to all the furnaces. So first what you want to do is you're going to place two powered rails down like that, one block apart. Now on this left one what we're going to do is we're going to place a uh, hopper going into it like that. So make sure the funnel's facing towards it and then we want to place one at the front here with the funnel going into that one there. Do that for the, uh, the the other side, but the opposite way, so pointing to the left and then this one pointing into it like that. Um, if you're wondering how to place the hoppers, you can do shift and right click and that won't open up the GUI. Now for the hoppers behind, what we want to do is place a comparator behind them facing away like that, so do that for both. Then we want to place a block um, behind those comparators there. Now we need to dig out some blocks in the ground, so start on this left side here and then dig out the block left of that plank there, left of the comparator, and then one more back like that. Dig out the block under this block here, and then we want to put a piece of redstone there. Then place a block back here, and then we want to place a redstone torch on this front face. Dig out this block under this hopper here, and then place two redstone down on those blocks there. Do this for the other side, so we're going to dig out this one right of that block, right of the comparator, and then one more down. Dig out the block under the plank, and then also we can dig out the one under the hopper here. Redstone under this plank, place a block back, redstone torch on this front face, and then two redstone down on the bottom there. If that is successful, you should see um, these powered rails turned on now. Now get your three chests and what we're going to do is we're going to place one on this front on top of this front hopper here again shift and right click to place it one in the middle here and then 
one on this on the top of the front hopper here. Now get your blocks of choice and what we're going to do is place one on either side of this chest here. We want to place two on the inside of these blocks here. Then you want to get your hoppers and you want to place three of them um, which all connect up to this chest here. So shift and right click. So one, two, three like that. Then get normal rails and then we're going to place them behind these powered rails like that and they should face in that direction now. So that is it for the refilling station for the minecarts. What we want to do now is uh, place down the furnaces but before we do that uh, what we need to do is um, extend these hoppers here six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then at the end here what we want to do is we want to place well, starting from the end here, we want to place four um, hoppers going in. So one, two, three, four. So all these here should go into there, and then that will lead to the chest. Do that for the other side as well. So one, two, three, four. So if I placed any item in any of these hoppers, it should lead into the chest, as we will test right now. I'll put it into this one here. And if we go over to the chest, we'll see that it. Um, went into there. Now on these four outside hoppers here we are going to place our furnaces on top of them so one two three four then same for this side one two three four behind the furnaces we want to place four hoppers going into them so one two three four do that for the other side as well one, two, three, four. And again, we want to place some on the top. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we don't have to hassle with this part later because we're actually going to have more blocks here. We want to get this part out the way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build this drop zone where a minecart is going to land on. So what you want to do is leave one space from this block which the comparator is going in. Dig that out and then dig one more to the back. Then we're going to dig these two to the right here. Then you want to dig two um, that way like so. Place a redstone torch on this bottom right corner here. A powered rail there, normal. And then two powered rails there and then one normal at the end if I can reach it. There we go. Come over to this side and then we want to dig out this block here and then we want to place two normal rails like that and then one on top like so. Now believe it or not we are almost done the last thing that we've got to do is place our rails down so we're going to start with this side here so what we want to do is place a powered rail on top of there now we need to bring this up one more so you want to place a block on top of this hopper here place one to the left and then we're going to place one um, diagonally right here like that destroy this block here then normal rail powered rail and then a normal rail here place a block in between this block and the hopper there so we can actually uh, join them up at the end here place a block in between those two hoppers and in front of this hopper here place a block there and this is where the minecart will come off and land back onto the rail. So place powered rails all on the straight bits at the corners, place normal railed rails because they actually turn, not like powered rails. So you should end up with something that looks like this. Now we're going to do the other side, so the left side. Now this is going to be a little bit more complicated but it shouldn't be really that hard so uh, behind this block which the comparator is going in going in place two blocks first on the first block here place a normal rail then we're going to place two powered rails and then we're going to bring it up to here and then bring it across right to the end like that now come back to the start here and what we need to do is make it so this track here is connected to that one so break it and then place it back down and it should um, turn right and then turn left and go up here instead of going straight down there. When the minecart comes this way it will actually go up and then go straight back to here. It won't actually go around this way. 
At the back, what we need to do is place five blocks, so in front of this hopper, and then to the right like that, so five of those. And again, on the corners, place normal rail, and then on the straights, place the powered ones, normal, and then the powered ones on the straight. Now we actually need to stop the minecart from flying too far because we want it to actually land down onto this rail here. So what we simply need to do is place or well, leave one space from the track here and then place a block down. We can do that by uh, right clicking on the side of that track there. So the minecart should fall down here onto that track and then follow that up back to the start here. Now obviously these tracks won't work because they're powered so we simply just need to power them now so we can place um, a redstone block on top of the power on the outside power rail like that one in the middle there and then same on this side like so uh, one in between these two blocks here and then one on top of this block here and then that should power all the rails. Now the last thing that we simply have to do is place down our minecart chests, so place them on the powered rails that we placed at the start, and they should start looping around, like so, and then they will do that forever unless uh, they actually need to be filled up. Now we're actually going to give this a quick test run just to make sure that it works, so I'm just going to get out some ores and some coal. Bing! <laughs> Alright, so I've got some coal and I've got my ores, so the coal goes on the right side, so we're simply just going to place it into this chest here. The ore goes on the left side, and you should see that when the minecarts come back to the start here, they stop here, and they're actually getting filled up with the coal and ore. Once all the coal is out of this hopper here, it will get set back into that loop and evenly distribute it to all the furnaces. Same goes with the um, the ores as well, it should easily distribute them to all the furnaces. As you can see on the inside, they are cooking now and we should eventually have ores or the ingots coming into this chest here. Now I found a little flaw in the contraption. What is happening is that this hopper here is actually sucking up items somehow from this minecart on this right side here but to fix that all we simply have to do is place a block on top of it and that will stop it from sucking out items from that minecart. As you can see it has smelted that 64 iron and it smelted that quite quick. What I'm going to do now is show you how to extend this and by extending it this will actually increase the production it will reduce the production time so you can smelt a stack of 64 a lot quicker like almost probably in two minutes maybe maybe less than that which is crazy so I'm gonna show you how to do that so first up I'm just gonna stop these minecarts from uh, looping around so simply we're just gonna destroy the redstone um, in front of the redstone torches there and then that should bring them back to the start here and just leave them there now to extend it it is quite simple all we've practically just got to do is um, bring this whole Back. we just practically got to stretch this whole back bit here so what we're going to do is we're just going to um, destroy this here and then we're going to destroy that middle one there and the two to the right there and that block in the middle and then we're going to practically just copy this here so what we're going to do is uh, we might extend it by another four so one, two, three, four four hoppers on the side on the other side too, place the furnaces down, hoppers at the back of them and on the top as well. Now just copy the same process of placing the tracks down, so on the straights put the powered ones. Then put a block in between the last two hoppers here, put the normal rails on the corners, powered on the straights. And at the back here place five blocks down, powered on the straights, normal on the corners. Now just make sure that they are powered as well. If you've made it 
really long, you might have to put more of these redstone blocks down because they will only stretch out to a max distance of, I think it's uh, 16 tracks, so if you have more than 16 you'll probably have to put 2 down. But yeah, there we go, we've extended it by 4. Now we are just going to place the redstone back that we destroyed before to make them loop. Now the loop time will take a little bit longer, but um, it will still do the same process. Alright, so we're going to give it a quick test run, so let's get out some coal, and let's get out some iron as well. So let's uh, pop them, we'll just pop them that, that hopper just to make it a little bit quicker. So they're both filling up now, and we're going to see how quickly it smelts 64 iron ores. Alright, they're off and they're smelting away. Let's take a look in the chest. I smell that there's already going to be some in here. Oh my god, look at that. Already 16 ores. It's a quarter of the way done. Here's the next batch, which is going to go up to 32. Wow, this is, this is actually quite quick. Here we go, the next one should be coming any second. Wow, this is this is this is going to be like less than a minute cooking up 64, 48, and then here we go, the last batch, which will equal up to 64. So there we go, guys. That is the industrial furnace system. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please remember to leave a like. Um, if you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know in the comments because I do struggle sometimes to uh, get ideas on what to build. Uh, that's why you probably haven't seen a redstone tutorial in a while. But anyway, remember to like, it really helps me out, keeps me motivated to do videos and such. And yeah, bye guys.